Yeah. This lesson is about the combustion type. Uh, the combustion type of uh, reaction is actually, in many ways, a lot easier than the ones we've already done because they're a lot more similar to each other. They're kind of always involved the same stuff. Before I kind of wrote all the examples, generic A, B, C, D, I don't really have to do that with combustion as well. Combustion always has the same players. In combustion, you always have some fuel. Now, what the fuel is changes from reaction to reaction, but that is actually the only thing that ever changes in a combustion reaction. Everything else is always the same. In order to think about burning, combustion is, is what we, uh, most reactions, we think of something burning, think of a candle burning or something. It's actually a combustion reaction that's happening. You have some fuel, in this case, the wax, and in order to have things burn, we know they need oxygen which it, we get from the air around us, and then it makes, the nice thing about combustion reactions is they always, always make the same two products uh, if it goes to completion. It makes carbon dioxide and water. So the only thing that ever is going to change on this reaction is what the fuel is, and it's always going to be some hydrocarbon fuel, some CH compound, C2H6, CH4, C3H8, C10H22, some kind of, of hydrocarbon. On all of your example problems, the homework, the tests, it'll always be some simple hydrocarbon, C with some H. In our example that we're going to do, CH4, that's methane. Methane plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Again, we are not worrying about balancing right now, we're just more focused on the types. So what does that look like? Well, it looks kind of like that. You can see uh, a combustion reaction going on right there. <clears throat> However, a, uh, a more interesting way to look at it, that's actually not methane going on there, that's a much bigger carbon compound. Uh, if we limit it to CH4, if you actually want to see this particular reaction, you can, but you probably need a little bit of uh, eye protection, maybe a lot of other kinds of protection. And maybe don't wear a tie, that might not be safe. It would look something like that, yeah, it would look a little bit like that. And so, uh, what does that smell? Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of, uh, the soap, you can see it's soap. Soap has nothing to do with the reaction. The soap's just a fancy, fun way to trap the, um, the methane in little bubbles so that we can kind of control where it goes and what it does. And you can uh, do things like this. Ooh. And that would be an example of a combustion reaction. That's pretty much all you need to see. You can turn off the video if you want now, but or you can keep watching for a while and watch me do a couple more. What's nice about methane is that methane is less dense than air, has a molar mass of 16, whereas regular air is close to 28, so it tends to float when it's released. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's always nice. Did you get that one? That's yeah. It's kind of important to get it. Nice. I'll do one more and then maybe we'll go out for a walk or something. I'll just wait. Hello! Will you come play with me? There we are. Oh, lovely. Oh, let's light this last one and then we will be done. That is your combustion reaction.